<laughs> okay, thanks, Mom. Hey everybody, it's Haley here, and I'm super excited to be sharing with you how to make some really cool towel animals. I'm calling this my Towel Animal Master Class, and uh, we'll be learning how to make a couple different animals uh, over the course of a few videos, so super exciting. Huge shout out to Caroline and Declan for being the inspiration for making this video. You guys have a pretty cool dad, and uh, I'm really excited to be sharing my uh, knowledge of how to make towel animals. So the very first animal we're going to be making is this dog. Okay, so it's a little dog and it should look about like this when we are done. So what you're going to need is a regular size bath towel and then you're going to need a hand towel and I also recommend having a couple of rubber bands on hand. Uh, they just can help keep the animal together, keep the body together, keep it from falling apart. So um, just grab a couple of those. If you don't have them, no big deal. Most important part is the towels. And um, you can use absolutely any color towel. That doesn't matter. Uh, of course, we know that dogs in real life are lots of different colors. So whatever uh, color towels you have, all good. You can mix and match. Um, I do recommend using a bath towel um, and a hand towel versus uh, the kind of towel that you might take to the beach. Um, these towels uh, that we have here, they just hold the shape of the animal a little bit better um, and keep it from falling apart. So I recommend using a bath towel over a beach towel. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We'll move this little guy over here. And um, definitely don't get discouraged if uh, your animal doesn't look quite like mine at the end. I have had a lot of practice and even still I am no expert at making towel animals. Um, a lot of times my animals do turn into slugs and worms and that's totally okay because uh, slugs and worms are important animals as well. So don't get too discouraged and of course uh, if you need to pause this video at any time, go your own pace, totally cool. So we are going to go ahead and get started with the big uh, bath towel. So we can put the small hand towel off to the side for the time being. And first thing is just go ahead and lay the towel nice and flat on a flat surface. And then as soon as you, you have done that, just um, start at one end and take both corners of the towel and just start rolling it in towards the middle. So the roll doesn't have to be too tight. Um, but you don't want it to be too floppy either. So use your own uh, judgment and just start rolling it in towards the middle, just like that. And once you've got about towards the middle, uh, just leave it. Definitely doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. And um, then we will do the same thing with the other side. So we roll this side and then we're gonna go ahead and roll this side. So again, don't make it too tight because it'll make it difficult later. Just try to get it relatively even. And then once you're about here, uh, just roll in both sides and try to get them as close to even as possible, but really uh, it doesn't matter too much, just eyeball it. And uh, once you have your towel like this, so both sides rolled in, we are going to take our towel and fold it in half with the seam on the outside. So we're gonna take it and fold it in half just like this. So you should have four burrito looking things just like this. And um, you wanna make sure that this uh, the seam part is on the outside and then the part without a seam is on the inside. And then do make sure that it's up and down like a little crocodile, okay, instead of like this. So it shouldn't be a horizontal like this, it should be vertical just like this, okay? Next step is we're going to be taking the corner of uh, each little burrito in here. So you're gonna just go ahead and uh, reach in, find a little corner and pull it out of each one of these, okay? So um, just go ahead and pull the corner out, not too much, just a little bit, just uh, enough so you can grab hold of it. So just like that much. And um, go ahead and pull the corner out. Now, if you're having trouble pulling the corner out, um, 
it might be because when you roll the towel uh, initially, you roll it a little bit too tight. So if you do it again, just keep that in mind. Um, just don't roll it too tight. And this is a great thing to have mom and dad help with as well, this step. So just pull each one out and then we're gonna do the bottom as well. Pull the corner out. Then once you have all the corners, just pull that a little bit. So make sure that it's still uh, up and down like this. And you're gonna take in one hand, you're gonna take the ones on one side and kind of pinch them together. Just take the ends and pinch them together. Just like, <laughs> there we go. Just like this, okay? So just pinch them together. Same thing on the other side. Okay, so once you have them, just grab them uh, one in each hand and you should see uh, this little bit of towel in the middle. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull outwards just like this and there should be uh, should be able to do it in just about one motion and pull, 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 little corners and it should end up looking just like this. So once you've finished pulling, uh, it should look kind of like a dead chicken. Okay. So like this on one side and like this on the other side and just go ahead and uh, put it off to the side. This is going to be the body of our dog. So you can just go ahead and we're done with this part. So just leave it off to the side. Uh, and this is actually the body for a couple of different towel animals. Um, but today we need something to stop. So now we're going to be using our hand towels. So go ahead and get that out. Lay that totally flat, just like this. Then you're going to fold the towel in half hot dog style. Okay. So take the corners and fold it so the open part is facing you and the closed part is facing away from you. So just like this, the open part is facing me and the closed part is facing away from me. Now, this next part, you're going to kind of eyeball it again, look for the middle of the towel and put your pointer finger uh, just in the middle on the top of the towel. Then you're going to take one corner of the towel but only the top layer, okay? So don't take the whole thing, just take the top layer, just like this. And you're gonna take the top bit and you're going to bring it out and down, just like that. So we're gonna do that part one more time. So you've got your towel, hot dog style, just like this. Find the middle, take the top layer and uh, you're going to pull that top layer towards the middle until you've got it right in the middle, just like that. And um, don't worry about the other side, uh, the underside of the towel right now. It's gonna be totally fine. So you just should have this top layer and it should look uh, like kind of a diagonal triangle. Okay, then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So we're gonna take the corner and just pull it right down towards the middle. Make sure they're even-ish, okay? So you should have something that looks kind of like a stingray, okay? So it should be two uh, triangles. And um, once you have that, we're ready to move on to the next step. So next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take uh, the little tip of the stingray up top um, where its head would be, and you're going to fold it underneath. And uh, a good way to tell how much to fold it is just use your hand. So use about five finger lengths. Um, it definitely does not have to be precise, but just go ahead and fold it underneath just like that. So just about that much. Um, and again, this is not an exact science, so don't worry too much. And then once you have it like that, you're going to do that fun rolling thing we did earlier. And you're just going to take one side just like this and start rolling it into the middle. Okay. So just roll and then once you have that um, just go ahead and hold it so it doesn't fall out and then you're going to do the same thing with the other side so just roll it in towards the middle make sure it's not too loose and then they should meet in the middle just like this okay 
So once you have that, you can go ahead and pick it up. Just make sure that uh, you are holding this middle part so it doesn't fall apart and you turn it around and there is the head of your dog, okay? And now here's where the rubber bands come in. So um, you can leave it, but a lot of times um, towels uh, that we have at home might not hold together as well. So um, we're gonna take a rubber band, just like this, and we're gonna just put it around uh, just right underneath the ears right here to keep the towel from falling apart. Okay, so it should look just like this. And then to make your dog have nice floppy ears, you can just shake it a little bit just like that and pull one ear down. And then we're going to be taking our um, little body that we put to the side earlier and we'll bring him back. And then all you have to do is just put your little dog head right in between its arms, just like that, right in between the shoulders. Super cute. And, um, you can accessorize however you would like. You can use little black pieces of felt or magazines for the eyes. I always like to use sunglasses. So just put it just like that. And there you go. That is how you make the towel animal dog. Thanks for watching, everybody.